Hey, what is up, guys? Some of you screws here with some live replays uh, from Street Fighter 5 Arcade Edition, which I recorded last night with my capture card as they were taking place. Uh, as you can see, I'm mean, here. I am taking on a Blanca, actually the first Blanca, and he's wearing whatever the hell he's wearing. Um, you tell me. At first, I had no idea what the hell I was looking at. This was actually the first Blanca. I, I thought maybe Capcom had, had screwed up or something, and they had forgotten how, what Blanca actually looked like. But no, this is some costume, some outfit, I don't know how this guy got it, I have no idea. But this was the first Blanca I fought, um, the match was a little bit, uh, the match was kind of here and there, I'm going to be honest, you know, there was, uh, uh, you know, there was lag, you know, there were lag, lag spikes, you know, here and there and whatnot, but it was still playable, I would say, definitely. Um, but, you know, concerning Blanca, I don't know, I mean, it's just, Blanca is literally a character that I've never actually liked fighting. That's kind of the thing with Blanca, you know, obviously, you know, he's a troll character, he's made for trolling and all that stuff. But, you know, in this game, they actually gave him um, extra tools that he can use to get in, you know, like, for example, they gave him, like, this really weird, uh, this weird hop he does, where basically he can just sort of just hop into the air and then cancel into something. And then they also gave him this command throw, as you can see, which in my opinion, I don't think he needed that. Then he went for it again. EX version too for some unknown reason even though I was clearly out of, out of range but yeah you know what happened to the slide he has that freaking slide he can use and then th that actually blew my mind you can actually punish his balls this time what the hell really wow he actually after you block it he's still close enough for a punish huh who would have thought huh who would have thought that a block special move you have to be able to block it huh I mean oh my god and then I don't know, his combos, they seem to be easy as all hell now, too. I mean, the three Blancas I faced, they all did the same combo. I remember at least in Ultimate Fighter 4, the, the combo required a certain degree of, uh, you know, skill and timing, but not not here, apparently. Here you can just, apparently, just press a few buttons and, and you do the combo. Um, they gave him also, you know, they gave him a bunch of tools, pretty much, uh, for some unknown reason. I don't agree with giving him a command throw. Um, that's kind of a thing in this game. They did that for some reason. Like for example, Vega, they also gave him a command throw. It's kind of, kind of, kind of silly when you uh, when you think about it. And then he got me with that because obviously I had no idea um, what the hell he was doing. I I don't know. That was the first Blanca I, f I faced online, and this was last night. It's funny actually. The night before, I was trying to get my hands on a Blanca so I could make a video like this for you guys, but unfortunately. No Blanca, I just kept running into Nash for some reason, and found. So I was like, I don't know what the hell's going on. Maybe Nash got buffed. I don't know. I faced a bunch of Nash. Nash players are since then. Actually, the matchup for this one is Nash. And then basically, yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know what I can tell you. I simply don't know what to tell you. I mean, about Blanca. I mean, obviously, I gotta learn the matchup again, because the last time I faced Blanca was obviously in Street Fighter, Ultra Street Fighter 4. And then he's got new stuff, like I said, he's got that command throw, he also has to hop into that, there it is, that's, that's it, that's, he's also got that hop, he's got that freaking hop into, uh, whatever the hell he wants to cancel it to. And then he's still got that slide, for some unknown reason. And then he's, oh, look at that, not within range, that's awesome. And then I like that I can actually punish the ball this time around. And I mean, in Street Fighter 4, I remember I actually could never punish that ball uh, until Street Fighter 4 came out. It's actually kind of silly. He could just throw that ball out all day long, and there was no way in hell to punish it because basically he would block it, and he would he would land so far away. There's no way to punish it. You know, some people say, "Oh, well, just throw an EXP coconut." It didn't work. Too far away, X Goku was too slow. It wouldn't work. But in this game, it's nice. As you, that actually seems balanced this time around. You know, you block that, you can just punish right in there. You can just punish that crap. So that's pretty cool. And then he still got that amazingly super fast jump in, which is actually also kind of hard to punish when there's lag. But you know, you kind of get used to that with uh, with Blanca definitely. But you know, I, I don't know. I think that jumping is way too, f too freaking fast. They should just they sh it shouldn't be that fast because obviously when there's a uh, when there's a delay, obviously you're not gonna be able to punish that shit. But yeah, like I said, you can now probably punish the ball, which is nice. And I'm still kind of wondering what the hell is this Blanca wearing? To be honest, I got, I got no freaking idea. I don't know. That was sweet. That was actually a read, by the way. And then I don't know what happened there. I, um, that's obviously not gonna work. So. And then, as you can see, he could just go straight into the freaking nice little like, kosher right there. Um, that's kind of the thing that he does that ball. Um. He recovers so fast, he can just fall off with a jab, maybe a grab, I don't know, so apparently, so yeah, basically, gotta keep all that in mind, pretty much, I just gotta learn the character again, 
You know what I mean? Just gotta learn the character all over again. The matchup, I mean, because in Street Fighter 4, I did beat my fair share of Blanca, I would say. I beat a bunch of them. Uh, you know, when I used to play uh, online all the time over there on uh, PS3. Um, you know, Blanca as a whole... I don't know. I just, I just, I just, I just don't like fighting, fighting the character, I'm gonna be honest. If it was up to me, I would just patch him completely out of the game. Yeah, if it was up to me, I never would have had him. Like, and that's just my opinion, and that was sweet. I knew he was gonna throw that out. And then, uh, I didn't want to do my combo there, but yeah, and around here, there's this huge, uh, like, uh, spike lag, spike lag here. You'll see, you'll see. Oh, there it is. Huge lag spike right there. Uh, we both kind of didn't know what the hell to do there, I'm guessing. But that's it. That was actually my first experience against Blanca. Um, overall, Blanca as a character, um, obviously just kidding about patching him out. Just gotta learn the matchup. Just gotta learn the freaking matchup, and that's it. He's not really that difficult. Um, you just gotta be really patient against Blanca. Alright, so here is a match I had against Nash. This one was also last night, I believe. And now this was an actual match. I actually really enjoyed this match. I don't know why. I'm, the, the Nash versus Chun Li matchup. I'm really liking this matchup, definitely, because again, it's all about patience. And Nash, he's got like those really freaking good normals. Like they probably they actually beat all of our normals. Um, so it's kind of tricky. He also got that has that. And this guy was good and all, but one thing I note about this guy is that this guy literally had no plan B. Like his entire plan was basically just just sit back and chuck sonic booms at me and then just throw that freaking hard punch my way and then do that and then jump in with this and that after that after i downloaded this guy like there was literally nothing he could do he, he literally had no backup plan whatsoever so just full on autopilot pretty much see what i mean just full on autopilot it's the same crap over and over again doing this boom 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 and that's too good that should actually oh okay that was a good read i don't know if that was, that was a read or not that, that was a read i knew that was coming in that jump, and then I follow that up with the Kosho, which is quite nice, by the way. And I've got this guy right where I want him, but I think he wins this round. I'm not really, I'm not really sure. And I'm not really sure. Yeah, he, I think he wins this one. I think I'm not really sure. Uh, this was last night, but I don't know. Uh, oh, I want to follow that up with the. Oh, that was good. That was good. Yeah, you got to keep that in mind when he does that stuff. That second V trigger, he actually has like I think it's two options. It's that where he does like some kind of kicks upward, and he also has that with an overhead. So, just, yeah, just gotta keep that in mind. That was a sweet idea. Boom, straight into the grab. Nice. And then the guy's gotta block that. that you gotta block that low, daddy-o. Oh my god, see what I mean? That's just the entire plan. Just sonic boom, and then this and that. Sonic boom, and this and that. That was sweet. That was an amazing combo, by the way. That actually made him salty. I could tell. I could freaking tell. But, uh, definitely, you know, I mean... Uh, whoa, 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 wait a second. I don't know. I don't even know what the hell he's doing here, to be honest. I got no idea. That was good. Well, he crossed me off with that shit. Are you kidding me? And then that happened. There you go. See what I mean? That's, that's just like the entire game plan. Just back up, Sonic Boom. Back up, Sonic Boom. Back up, Sonic Boom. And then just me trying my best to get in there, pretty much. Oh my god, that was sweet kick, sweet anti air. Boom, sweet overhead. See what I mean? I got This, this guy's been downloaded. Knew he was gonna jump. Got him with that shit. Um, this guy, like I said, like I said in one of my previous videos, you have got to have a backup plan. You know what I mean? Ask any of the top pro players, you know, ask Daigo, ask Justin Wong, ask this, ask that. You have got to have a backup plan. You can't go in there full on autopilot because then you're going to be this guy, this Nash right here. And, uh, you know, that's not me disrespecting the guy or anything like that. I mean no disrespect that, uh, uh, towards him at all whatsoever. But, uh, you know, I'm just telling it like it is. You know what I mean? Guy has no backup plan. So when you have no backup plan, what happens? You get destroyed. See what I mean? Guy has no idea what to do right now. He's like, oh shit, this guy, this, this, this Chun Li just got in here. You know, my plan was to just solar her to death. Now I can't do that because he's actually getting in somehow. So see what I mean? And then he mashed this shit out. That was great. Just mashing out that critical art, you know, in desperation. Can't say that I blame him. You know, desperate call times call for desperate measures, right? And then here he went for this. I'm too far away, I guess. It didn't work. Oh, and I blocked that shit. That was nice. See what I mean? He should have gone for the overhead. But he didn't go for the overhead that time. I think, I guess he went for the other one. He thought it was going to work. I don't know. So now, basically, I've already fully downloaded this guy. And now it's time to go to town on him. Now, I was actually afraid he wasn't going to hit the rematch button. But he did. He hit the rematch button. That's great. And yes, he did win one match. He won our first match. And then I won the last two, as you can see. But uh, that doesn't matter. What matters is the, the matches where I won, obviously. And uh, who knows, maybe I may add those in the future, my losses as well, uh, with commentary. You know, we, we, we just kind of... Oh my god, that was sweet. That was a sweet crush counter right there. Like I said, the guy's been downloading. I already downloaded his ass. His ass actually belongs to me, and there ain't, there ain't nothing you can do about it. Simple as that, you know what I mean? 
And then, okay, that was... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, he went for that little that little tech, tech throw there. All right, not bad. Not a, not a bad tech throw. You know, it was decent. I would say that was nice. Decent as well, definitely. Okay, that was sweet. Decent. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, see what I mean? See what I mean? Just, 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 okay, he's back to he's back to the autopilot. Here we go. Here we go. Sunny boom. Sunny boom. Yeah, I'm just going to show this Chun-Li to death, man. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, my God. I got him in the corner. See, that's another thing I noticed. Once I actually push him to the corner, he would just get desperate. Like, oh, shit, I'm at the corner. Oh, my God, what now? What do I do? How do I get out of the corner? You see what I mean? And in this round, like I said, he's already been completely downloaded. I just go to town on his ass. Absolutely freaking destroy this guy. Simple as that. Boom. See what I mean? I have him afraid to push buttons, pretty much. And uh, that's actually just how I like it. That's how Daddy likes it. And then, whoa, big truck. What the hell? Big truck making noise. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> Get the hell out of here with that super slow uh, tick throw, man. You fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. All right, see what I mean? It's been downloaded. It's been downloaded. Oh, my God. Got him in the air. And I think that's it. That's all she wrote. Ah, uh, he's dead. Uh, 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 uh. He got that. He got that. But I guess he dropped it. Got his ass. Very nice. All right. So that is pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed my live replays. Please make sure to comment and subscribe. And also follow me over on Twitch, where I stream amazing gameplay every single night. All right, so that is pretty much it, guys. Later.